Las Vegas Buffet Review. We are here at Caesars Palace to try Bacchanal's Weekend Brunch. It's $65 before one o'clock, but at one o'clock they bring out the crab legs. So we're gonna go in at noon and see what happens. got seated here at Bacchanal's Brunch Buffet. The buffet runs from Thursdays to Mondays from 9 to 3. Now, before 1 o'clock, it's $65 each. And then after that, the price goes all the way up to 86 something each person because they serve crab. We made a reservation for noon. She said when they bring the crab legs out, we are free to enjoy. Now, they also said there's only a 90 minute time period for each person. We're gonna grab our first plates and check it out. All right, this is a braised short rib Benny. And right next to it, this looks good. Baby loco moco, beef patty, onion gravy, furikake, and fried quail egg. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? I think so. Can I get the smoked brisket, please? Yeah, and I'll try the tri tip as well, please. Yeah, just small pieces, please. Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you. Triple roasted chicken. The truffle roasted chicken. Gorgeous. And then can I do a slab bacon, please? Uh, no, I think that'll be good. Oh my goodness, thank you. That. Now we're gonna wait for seafood, but I got the other thing you guys care about first, which is our meats. They have some that I remember being here for dinner that are delicious. So right away, let's just start with the tri-tip. I remember loving this. Let's see how it is. It's so good. It's consistently good every time we come. Just like the flavor of whatever they brine this in, however they seasoned this, it's nice and salty, a little smoky tasting. It's honestly so good. <laughs> the tri-tip's delicious. I remembered it being really delicious last time we were here and it's held up to my expectations. You guys, this brisket looks insane. It's like falling apart Like and when you're cutting it. It's just like stew meat almost. It looks incredible. I can't even believe they cut it, honestly. Give it a shot. I'm glad we started with the meats. It reminds me why I always recommend Bacchanal. Oh, they're killing it with their meats. The texture is amazing. It's falling apart. It has that rich, almost like a soy saucy, that really like deep umami flavor to the meat. Incredible, two incredible pieces of beef. There was also plenty of selection for breakfast meats, so I didn't think it was that different from dinner. Let's try the slab of bacon, big, thick, juicy cut of bacon. Oh, I forget about how good Bacchanal is every time. Wow, a baby between ham and bacon there. You have the smoky bacon flavor. A Little bit of chewiness, but then there's that ham texture to it. Amazing. Wow, 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 wow. Truffle, chicken, let's see. Chicken is where they always let you down. Let's see how Bacchanal does. All right, truffle chicken, again, amazing. Not dry at all. The texture is excellent. The skin is kind of crispy. I don't necessarily taste truffle, but I taste a lot of seasoning. I'm tasting herbs. I'm tasting black pepper coming through. That I'm all getting, that is really excellent. It's honestly hard to describe these to you guys because it's just like the texture's perfection. They're flavored to perfection. They're seasoned amazing. It, they're just absolutely killing it with their carving meats. They're always consistently delicious every time we come. So the whole plate is a huge win. Glad we started here. Grabbed two other little dishes here to try. This is the short rib eggs benedict. This looked really good. The short rib looks like it's falling apart really tender. This actually looks like it's on top of a hash brown patty, which makes it unique and interesting. And then we have our poached egg. So let's give this a go. It just looked really inviting. This is yummy. The short rib is really good. Runny, creamy egg. And then the hash brown underneath. I don't know that this really tastes like Eggs Benedict, but it does taste good. I'm not gonna lie, after the meats, this is not anything incredible to me personally, because those just kind of blew me away. But this is good. 
I like it. I don't know if I would waste my time when all those are there. I'm gonna try this now. This is the Loco Moco. So a, a beef patty, a quail egg, rice, budokaki seasoning, kind of an Asian dish. Let's see. That I really like actually. Mm, that one's worth my time. The rice underneath being creamy from the quail egg mixing in. And then that patty is almost like a Salisbury steak in a way with this really interesting gravy on the top. Very savory. But there's a little bit of a soft sweetness to the rice with that futakaki. Futakaki is like a seaweed seasoning, so it gives a tiny bit of sweetness. This is good. This is interesting. So I would definitely get this. And then, got, I mean, guys, the carving meats here are ridiculous. So absolutely get some of those when you're here. Uh, we're going to finish up this round of plates together, and then we'll grab our next. This is a smoked Gouda Cavatepe. They say it's that, but Cavatepe is pasta, and this looks like mashed potatoes. Yeah. Look at the elote. They're calling it corn on the cob, but it looks like elote to me. This is our Cavatepe. So that was boars and mashed potatoes. And this is our smoked Gouda Cavatepe. They've got them in the wrong spots. Corned beef hash. Look at this. Wow. We love a corned beef hash. Let's get a little breakfast in our life. We can get some Denver scrambled eggs. It is brunch after all. Um, all right, this breakfast slider is intriguing, so we'll get one of those. Should we try the gumbo? Look at this guy. He looks fun, we're gonna get gumbo. All right, grab our second set of plates. This is the station like adjacent to the meat, so it's like a lot of carbs and things for you to try. Um, we will grab some eggs here. They did have brunch options. There was like eggs, hash browns, bacon, but we're here like at noon, so. I didn't really need any breakfast, but we'll try the eggs anyway. They looked a little watery initially and I was kind of worried about it, but they're very good. Really nice butter flavor. There's cheese in here. There's onion, pepper, ham. The eggs themselves actually have a really lovely texture. They don't taste like powdered eggs to me at all. So let's try some corned beef hash. Do love corned beef. See potato. Peppers of all colors. I'm seeing red, green pepper, onion. Tons of corned beef. Like it is like primarily meat. I do have some potato in here as well. The pepper flavor is coming through, but really it's just like boom, corned beef. And it's delicious. It's really good. Let's do the mashed potatoes that were labeled the cavatappi pasta, but the mashed potatoes they said have boars and cheese. They're very creamy. This is like a super pureed potato, no chunks. I typically like the like little bits of potatoes in my mashed potatoes. That's just the preference thing. Lovely, creamy, tasting heavy cream, tasting butter. A little bit of maybe chives in there as well. The boars and cheese flavor is kind of a back end flavor. It's very nice, very rich. Let's try this pasta, cavatappi pasta with gouda. Good is one of my favorite cheeses. I'm also seeing what looks like bacon in here. That sounds delightful. It's a smoky, bacony, creamy mac and cheese. The cavatappi pasta is like the perfect noodle to be like holding up to all the way to those toppings. Uh, great texture on the noodles, not mushy at all. Perfectly al dente. Out of everything here, I would spend my carbs on that, I think. I mean, the corned beef is also really good, but that pasta is, that's killer. That's really yummy. Mm. There's no graceful way to eat this corn. Let's do it. They just called the corn on a cob. It looks like elote to me. I'm seeing some cheese and some paprika, maybe. Here we go. Delicious. So nice. Creamy dressing on the outside. It is elote. That's what this is. It's very good. The corn is extremely sweet. And then you've got that lovely cheese flavor on the outside and it's a little bit smoky from the paprika. So that's also super, super good. Got two other things here. Um, I'm gonna try this little breakfast burger first. I'm not gonna lie. This guy looks like he's been sitting. It feels kind of hard. Um, not promising, but let's give it a shot. It's got an egg on it. And then there looks to be some sort of like an oniony South, like a Thousand Island sauce. There's a hamburger patty, it looks like bacon. Sounds good, but it, the texture feels a little weird to me. Let's give it a shot. It's honestly not bad at all, actually. I don't think people are picking these up and they should rotate them, but because the bun's a little hard, 
but the rest of it's really good. Um, the sauce underneath the onions has a great flavor. The patty has an excellent texture. They do a great job with meat here. I don't taste much of that egg. Overall, I think it would be good if it was really fresh, but it's been sitting a little bit, so not for me. Let's try the gumbo. There's a cute little guy sitting on the top, his little prawn. I'm not gonna eat him because he's still got his face. But underneath it looks like I see some chunks of what might be lobster, maybe shrimp in here, and white rice. Let's just see how this is. Very sweet gumbo. Could use a little bit more spice. Oh, I'm getting a little cayenne on the back end, a little bit there, and some uh, smoky flavor, a little smokiness, some paprika maybe. The gravy texture of the gumbo is nice. It's very thick, very rich. Um, but I would like to see a little bit more spiciness to it. I think the sweetness is really coming from all of that seafood meat. All the little shrimps in there is really bringing a sweetness out. So it's good. I think if you like gumbo, you'll like it, but I like a little more heat to mine. Standouts here, definitely the pasta and the corn on the cob. Let's get some more plates. A bowl of pozole sounds good. All right, this is a yellow rice and corn pilaf. I'm gonna butcher this. Akiote roasted chicken. Akiote. I don't know how to say that, guys, but it looks great. Uh, quesadilla taco. That sounds so good. Let's get one of those. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. Ooh, you know what? So we'll get the chilaquiles. But then I also remember this duck thing being so delicious. So let's get one of these here. The duck carnita quesadilla. And let's get some plantains. We love fried plantains. Gluten-free, it says. Oh, so is the duck carnita. It is at this point in the review that I want to let you guys know there is absolutely no way that I can try everything on this buffet. Bacchanal has the most variety out of any of the buffets in Vegas. I grabbed maybe half of what was on the Mexican station, and that's just one station. So just to give you guys an idea. I did grab a lot here, though. I'm very excited about these offerings. There's even some things I remember from last time we were here, and I have to say the fact that I'm excited to try them again speaks to the quality, obviously. Let's have some pozole. I absolutely love pozole. Some Mexican soup. There's going to be hominy and some meat here. Let's give it a go. This is a red pozole. The meat is extremely tender. The hominy is not mushy. It's a great texture. The broth has got a really lovely flavor. It's rich, not a ton of heat, but again, a smokiness to it. Just oh, a little bit of a peppery flavor here, like peppers, not pepper, if you get what I'm saying. That's lovely. The pozole is delicious. They also had a bunch of toppings you could put on your pozole as well. I just wanted to try it as is. It's darn good. All right, they had quesadilla tacos that they were making just fresh. She was just flipping them on the grill there. I love when they have like a fresh offering that they make. These look really good. Let's try it. Oh, it's so good. The meat has that same beautiful flavor and texture like the brisket around the carving station. And the queso that's in here, the cheese is like really coming through. The corn tortilla is soft. It tastes homemade. It's fresh. Oh my gosh, I just wanna dip this in the pozole and just like go to town. This is absolutely delicious. That is so good. All right, let's try the Mexican rice. Very good. Tastes like Mexican rice though. Nothing crazy. I do like the texture a lot. The texture is really lovely. It's got this like softness. There's a lot of corn in there and that's that same corn as that corn on the cob, so it's sweet. There's a little sweetness coming through in the rice. But I know you guys aren't even gonna bother with that because you just wanna get to the meats. So let's try this chicken, Akiote chicken. I am so sorry, I know I'm not saying that right. I also don't know what this is. We learned what airline chicken was last review, so we'll learn what this one is in the comments. It honestly just tastes like chicken to me. On to the next plate. Okay, chilaquiles. Chilaquiles is like the old stale tortillas that they didn't use and they fry them up and they have good seasonings and cheese and it's usually like sometimes a breakfast dish. Mm. Oh, that's yummy. Chili powder is coming through like crazy. There's some kick here. Oh, those are so good. Really nice heat coming through. We've got a little bit of like what looks like Oaxaca cheese on the top and some onion and a little bit of cilantro. But like the primary flavor is you get that semi-soft uh, tortilla 
It's not quite as hard as a chip, but it's a little bit firm from the fry. And then they've added this delicious chili, like so much chili flavor to this. I remember the Mexican station here being great, but like, wow, it's, it's really good. All right, duck carnita. This has got queso fresco on it. There's an avocado here. I see a couple of maybe radish. There's duck on top. Bunch of duck meat all over the top. Let's give this one a shot. That one's good because it's unique. That crema on the top adds such a nice, rich creaminess with the avocado to cool it down. There's a little bit of black beans in here as well. So it's just a really well balanced dish where you have that thick, rich, creamy texture. You got a little bit of that like real fatty texture and it's balanced. It's, it's good. Wow. The Mexican station does not disappoint here at Bacchanal. It's really good. Plantains. Let's have some plantains, you guys. Let's give them a shot. Fried plantains with a caramel sauce on them. Wow. Those are delish. I loved everything. I mean, I don't. the chicken and the rice were just fine, but the rest of these like kicked actual butt and they were so delicious. Now, they put the crab out. The line is so long. <laughs> so we're gonna have to hop in that line, grab another plate, and we will try some seafood. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you, Never, never, never thank any you. Oh. All right, they have Dungeness, too. Oh, my gosh. Pile them on, pile them on. Ahi tuna poke and lomi salmon poke. Uh, a bacchanal roll. Jeez Louise, look at that. And that is a volcano roll. My goodness, these are huge. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, a Filipino pork skewer. Wow, look at that. Should I get some lumpia? Pork lumpia? Wow. Try that out. Okay. Sounds good. The star of the show is here. So, two varieties of crab on the buffet. They had Dungeness, and then at 1 o'clock they bring out the steamed snow crab legs. The line moved really fast, so don't worry about that. I mean, the meat is coming right out of the shell, right off the bat. These are huge crab legs. I know a lot of you guys really prefer the steamed crab. I like them cold, but I know how many of you want that hot crab legs. They have them here. So that is just something to note. The Dungeness is chilled, but that was here earlier when we walked in. So if you want to get Dungeness crab legs, they had those already when we walked in at noon. Here, I'll try one of those just for fun. These are coming right out of their shell too. A lot of meat. Huge difference in flavor. Wow. Way saltier. Different texture. I much prefer snow crab legs. They're sweet, delicious. I mean, they give you this huge plate. I didn't even ask for this many. They just piled that many on when you walk up. So you're getting your money's worth of crab if you like crab legs. Definite plus. One of the reasons to come to the buffet for sure. This is going to have to be our last plate before dessert. Our server actually came up. She didn't say anything, but like looked at our ticket and like circled the time on it and put it back. The message was clear that we need to finish it up, which is crazy. I don't think an hour and a half is enough time. I'm going to be totally honest, but that's okay. We'll finish this plate, get some dessert. There are a ton of other offerings here. There's an entire pizza section. There's an entire Asian section with a bunch of Chinese food there. They have the meats and cheese boards. There's truly an absolute ton of variety. I've shown you all the big ticket stuff, but they've kind of let us know that like we need to give up our table. I got a bunch of sushi, let's try this out. So this looks like the Bacchanal roll. I will say these are like cooked sushi. It's not like anything raw, and I do prefer raw sushi, but we'll give this a shot. I don't normally like that kind of sushi. It looks like really got a bunch of sauces and stuff on it, but that is really good. Mm. Crab meat, and then it has like an eel sauce on the top. It's like an eel roll. Ooh. Those are good. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. Okay. Okay, Bacchanal. I forgive you for not having the raw sushi. That is delish. They do have poke. This is a tuna poke. I'm going to try one of these for you guys. Mm. The Japanese section is really good. The poke is excellent. That's the salmon, I think. Oh, that might have been the salmon. That was really good. Let's try the tuna. This one has a seaweed salad. If you come to enjoy a little bit of Japanese on the buffet, the rolls are killer. The suit, ooh, the poke's got heat on it, wow. 
Okay, yep. Now we were just told we have to leave, so I guess we really have to go. Um, these were good. Honestly, I'm just gonna hurry up and we'll try to eat all this and get the dessert so that you guys can see some of the desserts, but they're telling us it's time we have to go, so. This is beautiful. Berry cheesecake. Beautiful. Oreo peanut butter dream. Yum. These are so beautiful, look at this. Blue Hawaii, a blue cake and coconut syrup. Ooh, banana cream pie. Yes, please. Ube chiffon. Yes, please. And creme brulee. Absolutely. All right, we grabbed a few desserts. Sorry if it seems like we rushed a little bit, but we kind of have to go here. So I grabbed some gorgeous, gorgeous looking desserts here. The first one we're gonna do is the creme brulee test. You guys know. Um, a little crack. I can hear the. I can hear the sugar. It's it's cracking a little bit. Let's see if it tastes crunchy and crispy. Definitely a crispy crunch on there. So it gives a thumbs up. I can see vanilla beans inside the cream. That's really nice. Um, really excellent flavor, creamy and smooth. Mm. A delicate creme brulee. It's not too super, super rich. I remember their desserts here being very light and delicate, and that's definitely one. Let's try this ube. This is an ube chiffon, I think they said. Ube is like a purple potato. It's a very popular Asian dessert because it's not super crazy sweet. So let's give this a shot. That is lovely. That is so nice. The cream on the top has a super subtle sweet flavor. It's almost like vanilla, but a little bit of something extra to it. And then there's a purple cake underneath. It's really light, it's really airy. Ooh, that was good, I liked that. I liked that better than the creme brulee, I will say. This cake is so pretty, this blue Hawaii cake. It's a blue cake and then it's a coconut flavor, essentially. I love like obnoxiously colored desserts. I just think that's when you have an excuse to make things really bright colors. So let's try this out. Mm. Big ups to them. A lot of the times the cake, specifically on buffets, those are dry a lot of the time. This is not dry. It's light, it's airy, it's crumbly, but it's soft. It's got beautiful soft texture. I taste coconut, but it's not super overwhelming. This really is just a delicately flavored cake. These are really delicate desserts. They don't have like a huge punch of sweetness. They don't have a ton of overwhelming flavor. They're just these light, sweet little afterthought after you were really full on the buffet. So they're all very good so far. Here, banana cream pie. Let's try this one. I feel like the banana cream pie should pack a pretty flavor punch, but let's see. It definitely packs a flavor punch. That tastes like banana Laffy Taffy's. <laughs> like, it's a very artificial banana. I like that flavor. Some people don't. If you don't, I would skip this. Smooth and rich. Uh, there's a little bit of a crust underneath. It's not really a graham cracker. It's more like a cake crust under. And then there's a little bit of whipped cream which is also super, super banana flavored. So like, that is the most overwhelmingly flavored out of those that I've tried. Okay, this is the Oreo peanut butter dream. This is the only like chocolatey dessert that we've gotten so far. Let's see how this one is. It's like a homemade peanut butter mousse. Oh, that's divine. That is so good. It's just tastes like a peanut butter pudding with a bunch of like Oreo cookie crumbs scattered throughout. A little bit of chocolate. Ooh, gonna be kind of hard to choose a favorite here. These were all really good. I'm gonna try this cute little cheesecake and see how this is. Ooh, very dense, very, very dense cheesecake. Let's give it a go. That's good. I've had better of the desserts. The ube, yum. This blue cake, yes. And this peanut butter dream. Tons more variety over there. They also have gelato and stuff, you guys. We couldn't try everything, but what I did try was all very solid, so. Just finished up at Bacchanal. Here are my thoughts. So, first of all, Bacchanal has the best carving meats out of any of the Las Vegas buffets, hands down. I think if you were here for snow crab legs and carving meats, you are absolutely getting your money's worth. I also think they have great variety. Now, 
they are strict about that 90 minute time limit. I know that's their rule, but in most buffets it's two hours, which is about how long it takes us to film a review, so we did feel a little bit rushed. I think most people are gonna love this buffet. I think that the brunch place is very good, and if you do what we did, you can get the crab legs and save yourself $20. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think it's worth the price? Would you check it out? Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys all in my next review.